So today, before we start, our second mindset that we need to inculcate towards Atmanirbhata, sustainable Atmanirbhata, there is one image that I would like to share with all of you. And after that image, there will be a question that I'll be asking you. Okay, so pay close attention to that image. Here we go. This is the image. And now the question. My question is, what all colors were you able to see in that image on that shoe? The lace, the color of the laces and the shoe itself. Take your time, think about it. Okay, so now there may be few people who must have seen pink colored shoe and white colored laces. And there may be few people who must have seen gray colored shoe and teal or aqua blue colored laces, right? So who's who's the who's the one who is uh, who has seen the right set of colors? Hmm? So my answer to this is both the sides and both the parties are correct because. Uh, there is a research and this is a very viral picture that we are able to see these days. You know, the magic is that everyone is able to see different shades of color in the same object is not because the object is changing the colors. It's not because that the object is changing the colors. It's because the way each one of us are made in such a unique manner, our mind, our thought patterns, the way we project and perceive things are designed in such a unique manner that we are able to see things differently. And this is the creativity that we have. So the people who were able to see the grey coloured shoe and aqua coloured laces, they are left brain dominant. And people who were able to see pink colored shoe and white colored laces, those people are right brain dominated. It's, it's that simple, you know. So no one is right or wrong. You actually saw the gray colored shoe and you actually saw the pink colored shoe. It's not that you are making it up or you are faking it up, right? And because shoe remains the same, the color remains the same, but the way the viewer is looking at it, it differs and that is what makes the difference. This is what makes you unique. This is what makes me unique as well, right? So this is our second mindset that we need to inculcate to become sustainably Atmanipra, which is being aware that we are unique. How we are unique? Because our mind our brains have a small world created inside of them based upon our experiences, based upon the lots of information that we keep on accumulating on daily basis over the months, over the years, based on the perceptions that we create, the belief systems that we have. This is how uh, we have created a small wonderland inside our mind. And basis that wonderland that we have created, we are able to see things. Everyone has a very subjective viewpoint to the same situation, towards the same object. So everyone will have different viewpoint towards it. So does it make your life easy? I'm sure it will because now you know that why the person is not able to have the similar kind of likes that you have. because. He has a different world inside his mind. And do you know that every second, the information which is bombarded to our mind is 20 lakh bits per second. Isn't it huge? Yes, it is 20 lakh bits per second of information that is being generated every time, every second. And what we are able to process is just 7 bits per second just 7 bits per second now just imagine the difference the gap and where does the rest of the bits and the information goes it goes into our subconscious mind because we are accumulating that information subconsciously and it's getting stored over here the only thing which is uh, which we are 
uh, aware is of the attention that we are giving for example you must have seen in your house in your room there, there may be few walls where you see that the paint has chipped off right for first few days you will be able to notice that chipped off paint and you will find that okay it's not looking that uh, beautiful now because the paint has been chipped off but after a week or two weeks you tend to ignore that particular portion of the wall and you are able to find that room okay why because your brain has accumulated that information but your active mind has chosen to ignore that piece of information right so this is how actually our mind works this is how actually everyone's mind works so and i believe that albert einstein was extremely right when he said the world as we have created is a process of our thinking and it cannot change if we do not change our thinking right so this is our second mindset that i would like you all to incorporate in your life which is going to make your life easy because it has made my life easy it has made so many people's lives easy that understand that everyone's viewpoint is subjective the situation will remain the same but the viewpoint will be subjective understand that once you are aware that everyone has their own viewpoint spaces on their own accumulation of information inside their minds and heads it makes your life easy why because now you will be in the position to decide that what action steps you would like to take now you are not going to retaliate you will not retaliate why because you know something has happened and you didn't like it and now you are giving it back you will not do that because you know you understand and you believe that just like you just like you everyone has their own different viewpoints that is the reason the other person is behaving in this manner you will be able to think in a better way you, you will be able to accept the disagreement and then putting across your point with your belief system with your viewpoint in a most dignified way there is a two step process that will need to be followed in this scenario in this mindset whenever any situation happens which is quite challenging or hard for you or rather i would say whether it is not challenging or not it doesn't matter any situation that happens when you find yourself there are different viewpoints remind yourself that just like you every other person is unique and out of that uniqueness their viewpoint is subjective and just because their viewpoint is also subjective so it's okay if they are disagree but this doesn't mean that you are going to surrender or you are going to agree to that point you have valid facts and valid logic to explain it and analyze it you are you will become in a better position where you will be able to put across your viewpoints with all the facts and figures and evidences and where you are coming from so from next time onwards if any tricky situations comes into your picture or into your life what you will you can do you can just tell the person that i understand where you are coming from i'm able to relate to the viewpoint that you are having however the way i look at it is this okay so this mindset what is the mindset that everyone has their own world that they have created in their mind and they are behaving according to that world they are living in that world actually you are also living in that world and if you want to change the circumstances if you want to change the world around you you have to change the world which is residing within you so ensure that you know that your viewpoints are not actually the situation the way you are looking at the world is not actually the world is like that the world is in a certain manner the way the shoe was it was there the color was there but the way we looked at it is or the way our mind processed that color that made the difference always remember that you are unique yes and so is every other person understand that take the decisions keeping this mindset in mind that everyone 
runs their own show this is the world that they have created which is the second mindset that we have to inculcate to become sustainably atmanirbhar which is yes you are unique everyone else is also unique and everyone is running their own show this is the world they have created in their mind and if you want to change that world we have to create the experiences and situations and perceptions you have to change them. think over them and act accordingly thank you and see you next week have a great day